So in this video, we have that f of x is 9 take away 5x over 2, and g of x is 4 take away 3x over 6. And we need to solve the inverse function of f is equal to the inverse function of g. Okay? So it's essentially, where do these two inverse functions intersect? Where do they cross over? So first of all, we're going to find the inverse function of f. So first, to put, first of all, put y equals... 9 take away 5x over 2. Swap the x's and y's. Then rearrange this to get y equals. So multiply it by the 2. Let's add 5y to both sides. Take 2x from both sides. And then divide through by 5. OK, so, so far we now know that the inverse function of f is 9 take away 2x over 5. OK, let's find the inverse function of g now. So write y is equal to 4 take away 3x over 6. Swap the x's and y's. Then rearrange this to get y equals. So I'm going to multiply it by the 6 first. I'm going to add the 3y to both sides and subtract 6x from both sides. And then I'm going to divide through by 3. So y is going to be 4 take away 6x over 3. So the inverse function of g is 4 take away 6x over 3. OK. Right. So now I want to solve where is the inverse function of f equal to the inverse function of g. So we want to put this equal to this. So 9 take away 2x over 5 is equal to 4 take away 6x over 3. So in order to solve this equation, I'm going to get rid of the fractions first. I'm going to multiply both sides by 5. So 9 take away 2x is left on the left-hand side. If I multiply this by 5, it just multiplies the numerator, remember? So 20 take away 30x over 3. Now let's multiply through by 3 to get rid of this fraction. So 27 take away 6x is 20 take away 30x. Let's add the 30x to both sides. So minus 6 plus 30 is going to be 24x. And then subtract 27 both sides. So 20 take away 27 is minus 7. So x will be minus 7 over 24. Now the question is, could we have got to this answer in a different way? So let's bank that. x equals minus 7 over 24. Okay, so that is correct. And this is a correct method of doing it. And it is probably the first method that you would think of, of doing it. Now, um, behind the scenes, what is happening graphically is we are working out where this, uh, this line and this line intersect. Okay? Now, the point of intersection would be reflected in the y equals x line. And that will be where these two lines intersect. OK, so in actual fact, you've got this behind the scenes, the y equals x line. And you've got this point of intersection. OK, uh, so you've got these two lines crisscrossing. I'm not going to draw the lines, otherwise it's going to get very confusing. This point is where these two graphs intersect. If you reflect this point in the y equals x line, okay, then this point is where these two graphs intersect. 
Now, what I've worked out, um, now I've got minus 7 over 24, haven't I? So let's draw that so it's reasonably accurate. Okay, so there's your work set sign. Um, so we've actually found uh, this point over here. Okay, so that's your minus uh, 7 over 24, comma, something. That's that point. And if we reflect it in the y equals x line, we're going to have this point down here. Now, this, the coordinates of this point, let's go into that. The coordinates of this point will have y coordinate of minus 7 over 24. So this is where these two intersect. This is where these two intersect. So if I work out f of x equals g of x, what that'll do is it will give me the x coordinate that goes in here. And then I could plug that x coordinate into either of these to work out the y coordinate. That's the plan. Okay? Which will be the x coordinate of that intersection point. So let's solve these two. I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 first. So 8 take away 6x over 6. Then multiply through by 6. Now I could have done um, multiplying through by 2 have then uh, got 3 in the denominator. I could have done it that way, but um, I'm going to go through this way. Multiply through by 6. We're going to get 54 take away 30x is 8 take away 6x. Okay, so let's add 30x to both sides. Um, so we're going to get minus 6 plus 30 is 24x. And then take 8 from both sides, and we're going to get 46. So x is going to be equal to 46 over 24. Not a particularly nice number. Let's um, divide top and bottom by 2. So 23 over 12. So this point here is 23 over 12. Now, if I substitute 23 over 12 into either of these two, I should get minus 7 over 24. Let's see, shall we? 9 take away 5 lots of 23 twelfths over 2. Okay, so we have 9 take away. Now, 5 times 23 over 12 is 230 divided by 2, which is 115. So 115 over 12 over 2. Now, you could just do this in your capital. I'm going to do it in my head. Um, 9 uh, times by 12 is 108. So that's 108 over 12. Take away 115 over 12 over 2. Now, 108 take away 115 is minus 7. So that's minus 7 over 12 over 2. So minus 7 twelfths divided by 2 is minus 7 twenty fourths. So I've got minus 7 over 24, which means that's the y coordinate of this intersection point, which means it's the x coordinate of this intersection point. So the x coordinate there is the y coordinate there. So you could theoretically have gone through it in this process as well, and you would have got the same answer.